Louie and today I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the Formula 1 season. I've been betting on Formula 1 now for 7 seasons with good success. I would consider myself the best person in the world with gambling knowledge and F1 knowledge put together. So I'm going to show you how you're going to make money this season in Formula 1. Testing is just finished. Looks like we've got a great season coming up. Red Bull look really good. So we're going to kick it off with the first bet. Uh, which is Alpha Terry to win the World Championship without the top two teams. You might think that McLaren are going to be starting off really well, and that's probably right, but in this you're getting 40 to 1 on what is likely the fourth best team after after um, after the testing series. So the current state of affairs will be Red Bull on top Mercedes. Don't worry about them for this bit. Third place is McLaren. I think they're in there around 8 to 11 to be the best team next. Uh, don't worry about that. They're going to have a good season. But then there's a bundle of cars that are struggling in behind them, which has led Alpha Tauri to come from the bottom, who actually has Pierre Gasly. He's one of the best drivers around. And Yuki Tsunoda, who's so got, got a great chance coming in with a rookie. He's had the second fastest time in testing there. So they're going to be up there up near McLaren. Um, you'll be happy enough to take 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 the 40s on this. Um, make Sky better 41. Uh, that'll be, this will be a great bet. Uh, the reason they're going to do so well is because of this 90% reduction in downforce. So teams like the Red Bull and the Alfa Terry who run a high rate car. So the car is kind of like this compared to the Mercedes, which is more flat. It means that they haven't lost as much downforce as the other cars. So they're able to maintain that level of downforce um, without having to lose their rear ends. Like we saw the Mercedes spinning a lot during testing. So again, I think the betting market is completely wrong here. Um, 41 off Terry to be the best of the rest is uh, not my most confident pick, but definitely an outside vote. It probably should be about five or six to one. They're definitely in with the mix. Okay, after the Alpha Terry bet, we're into what we call investment grade bets for the season. These are shorter prices that are in basically investments for the year. You're going to get 90% investment. Don't invest in your ETFs or any of your stocks. Just just buy shares in these in these bets. So the first one is McLaren to beat Ferrari is four to six with William Hill. And uh, that is uh, a crazy price. You're betting on the, the sun to rise tomorrow. Um, of course, McLaren are going to be Ferrari. Ferrari looked just as bad as they finished last season. Uh, they've got Carlos Sainz in. Who knows how he's going to do. Daniel Cardo had a great testing for McLaren. Norris will be consistent. Uh, they've got the Mercedes engine there. They're only going to get better. It looks like Ferrari is still struggling. Even if Ferrari get going in the second half of the season, it'll probably be too late by then. Four to six on this, and this this should be a one to one to thirty three shot. The second investment grade bet we have is one of two bets, basically the same thing. It's a uh, Williams to beat Haas or Haas to finish last in the championship. Uh, Haas have come out saying that they are not even going to develop the car at all this year. Um, Williams have said that they are going to do some development. They've got George Russell; he's already the best driver. Haas have just gotten rid of two of their drivers uh, for two new guys who look like they might struggle. Uh, there's going to be no money pumped into the car at all. This car should not be scoring points this year. Um, and Williams Williams have a good chance of getting points. They look close to the midfield than they did before. Maybe if they scrape one or two, they should win. Um, if not, even an 11 to 12 finish is probably better than Haas will, will get in the entire season. Uh, I think this is 8 to 11. Um, again, similar to the, to the McLaren Ferrari bet, this should be, again, 1 to 10. Uh, Williams are a far better team, and they will be far better than, than Haas this year. Now we're into my favourite kind of Formula 1 bet, which can only happen once a season at the at the start when bookies price up stuff like this. It's called community of probability, probability bets, um, where we use binomial distributions to calculate the probability of things happen, and the bookies just get stuff wrong all the time here. So the first one we're going to look at again is another kind of investment bet. It's only 10 to 11, but it's uh, Antonio Giovinazzi to score more than 3.5 points finishes in the season. Uh, they've put the line at 5.5 for Kimi Raikkonen, which is wrong because Giovinazzi is just as good in race pace as Kimi Raikkonen, and he's on the up. Raikkonen's getting old now. So, yeah, the overs in Giovinazzi, that Alfa Romeo looks way better than, than, than the Williams in the house now. It looks like it's gotten onto the back of the midfield. Um, but 23 races this year. Um, Giovinazzi, I think he managed three or four points finishes last season of him um, when there was only 18 races. Um yeah, you're going to imagine that he's going to he's going to easily get it if we, if we plug this into um, a binomial distribution and we calculate that if he is three to one, which he is this weekend, to finish every points race in the season, he's going to get about five point seven five points finishes uh, on average, which is the spread. Whereas you're gonna all you need is four to go through here. 
Uh, again, great bet. Probably, probably should be more of a one to one to four, one to five, one to five shot there. All right, now for the big tip, the one that I've been talking about. I've been telling everybody about this for ages now. I feel like Roaring Kitty or Deep Fucking Value talking about GameStop. This is the boogies have got this completely wrong. As I was saying earlier with the rake on the Red Bull car, it does look like they're going to really be able to challenge Mercedes. Could even be ahead of Mercedes. Um, they are 5-2 to two to win the title. If Red Bull are to win the title, you're going to expect Max Verstappen to get a load of wins. Um, and with 23 races this season, uh, you'd expect them maybe to even get 10 wins or so. Um, so for this bet then, if you, on Skybet, they have Max Verstappen 80-1 to one to win 10 or, 10 or more races a season, which is completely wrong. Uh, considering he's 11 to 8 to win the re- to win the race this weekend, um, which implies that he has about 40 percent chance, it'd be six to around 40 percent chance. We plugged it into binomial distribution. He's 44 percent likely to achieve 10 wins this season, um, and that's 44 percent. That's nearly one. That's nearly an even shot, uh, and they're offering you 80 to one on it. Uh, so what I've done is I've backed the 80s. I've got a lot on that, and I've backed them to win nine races at 28 to one, eight races. At a twelve to one, all the way down. The boogies have this completely wrong because if he's going to win eight races at twelve to one, uh, with the information we have at the moment, it doesn't matter. Um, like it's not like a even even shot from then on. If he wins eight races, he's probably like with the information at the moment, he's probably more likely to go and just get the ten. If, if that car is dominant, he could even go and get thirteen or fourteen points. So yeah, I'm tipping up uh, an eighty to one uh, for an on back for the season that I think has a great, great, great chance. Of happening. Hope you don't get slave factory.